Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how I style my hair um, just when I want to put a little bit of extra effort into it because usually I don't do anything to it so it's just kind of flat. Not flat, it's just like meh, you know? <laughs> but when I want to do just a little bit extra to it, I use the Shark Flex Style to uh, style it and curl it just a little bit. Not anything too crazy. Um, the, the curls are not very tight. There is still a lot of wave to it, but doing this just adds some texture, some movement, and some bounce, you know? So this is the final result. If you want to see how I attain this look, feel free to keep on watching. So this is the Shark Flex Style. Wait, let me check that. That's right. Shark flex style okay so this is the shark flex style i bought it because i wanted something similar to the dyson air wrap um, but this is much cheaper it's like basically half the price um, and it functions pretty much the same way so that's why i bought it and i an added bonus i bought it from my best friend michelle she didn't want it anymore and she only used it a few times so i bought it from her uh, for like $200, so great deal for me. So um, this is what I'm going to use today. Okay, so I'm first going to explain the different parts of the Shark Flex style. This is the main part of the tool where all of the air is generated. This is where you can attach various attachments and this is the cool shot button. This is the air and heat settings. There are three levels for each one. And lastly, the power switch. And I scared myself when I turned it on. Next, there's a lock button that you can hold down to remove attachments or to switch the barrel to hairdryer mode, as you can see here. This is a great feature of the Shark Buck style. I love that it's basically an all-in-one tool. Uh, these are the attachments. Okay, so it looks like this. Um, can you focus, please? Okay. These are the curling attachments. As you can see, there's a left side and a right side. Okay? So the left side is for the left side of my face. The right side is for the right side of my face. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, so I'm going to start with this. So my hair is currently dry. I haven't done anything to it. It's been a few days since I washed it, so it's, this is just natural. I've literally just brushed my hair. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to section off my hair. So because I don't want to be switching between these two things too many times, I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna split my hair down the middle. I'm gonna do the whole left side first and then I'll do the whole right side. Okay, so let's do that first. Split my hair, and I don't do it exactly down the middle, I do it along my part, just cause that works for me. It doesn't really matter. This is split, so I'm gonna tie away the right side of my hair. Can you see the reflection in my glasses? I hope not. <laughs> anyway, so that is the one side and this is the other side so I'm just gonna brush it real quick um, so I'm gonna do these in three layers right cuz I, I don't want the layers to be too thick so I'm gonna take the bottom layer here like this I guess and then I'm going to just pin up the rest of it And I think I'm going to stop talking now and I'm going to do a voiceover for the rest of this. So. so first, I'm going to apply this heat protectant to my hair. I like it because it's sulfate, paraben, dye, and mineral oil free. I think I got it on Amazon. It was pretty cheap. So I just spray it a few times on this section of hair and then rub it in. Since I'm doing my left side first, I'm going to attach the left curling attachment so it curls away from my face. Make sure it clicks to lock in place. I'm going to be using fan speed 3 and heat level 2. 
Next, I'm going to take about a half inch to an inch section of hair, starting from the back. So I'm going to turn on the tool and then hold it near the end of the section until it starts wrapping itself. Then once it has a good hold, I'll slowly start moving the barrel up towards my scalp. I'm going to hold it for 10 seconds. Then I'm going to hold the cool shot button for an additional 10 seconds just to set the curl. After that, I'm going to turn off the flex style and pull the barrel down to remove it from my hair. And that's basically it. I'm going to keep doing this to the rest of this layer. And now this layer is all curled. I'm going to tie this section behind my head so it doesn't get in the way of the next sections. Next, I'm going to take another inch layer from the remaining hair and pin up the rest. I'm going to spray my heat protectant and rub it in again. And then I'm going to do the whole process again to this section. Remember to hold each curl on the heat for 10 seconds, then the cool shot for 10 seconds to set it in place. After that's done, I'm going to bring the barrel down to release the hair. And voila! Nice and curled. Next, I'm going to add the newly curled hair to the finished hair in the back to keep it out of the way. And then rinse and repeat. Another thing you can do is brush each layer before you start curling it just to make sure there are no tangles. And now the first half is done. You can really see the difference between the curled side and the non-curled side. It has a lot more volume, movement, and bounce. Now I'm going to tie the finished side and section off the first layer on my right side. Then apply the heat protectant. Now since we're starting a new side, I have to change the barrel to the right curling attachment. Now to remove the attachment, you hold down the lock button and pull the attachment up from the knob at the top. It's very important to pull from this part because it's not as hot as the barrel. Next, take the right curling attachment and click it into place. We're going to keep going with the process. Once again, I'm going to take about a half inch to an inch section, starting from the back, turn on the tool, hold it near the end of the section until it starts wrapping itself, and then you just start moving it up towards the scalp. Hold it for 10 seconds, then hold it on cool for 10 seconds, and then pull the barrel down to remove it from the hair. Okay, this first layer is done. It's already looking really nice. Next, I'm going to combine it with the finished hair and take out the next layer. And then I'm also clipping up the rest of the hair so it's out of the way. Okay, I'm sorry if this whole process seems pretty repetitive, but that also makes it really easy. So this section is done. I'm going to move the finished hair out of the way. <sighs> this is the last section. Finally, it's been like 20 minutes, 25 minutes. You gotta be patient with the process. All right, we're done. And now I'll 
show you the final look. So it's really big now, which I don't totally love, but um, the waves will like relax, you know, as time goes by, because I didn't make them too tight. Um, so to finish off, I'm gonna use this L'Oreal Elive, Elive? L Vibe <laughs> L'Oreal Paris L Vibe Frizz Killer Serum. It's like a leave-in serum that helps to like smooth out the flyaways and whatnot. I usually just apply this to the ends, you know, seal everything in, get rid of some of those flyaways. So this is the final look very bouncy, lots of movement. It's a lot. <laughs> but usually I'll have my hair like up. Usually I'll have my hair up in um, a claw clip like this. So I kind of like when it's curled because it just, it looks prettier in the back like that. But also when it's down, uh, there's just more texture. It's more interesting to look at, you know. This is what it looks like. So um, this is basically what I do when I want something, um, when I want to put a little effort into my hair. Usually I don't do anything. Uh, so this is what I do. And the curls for me actually last a few days. Um, which is nice. My hair is naturally wavy, so I think that helps, but it does hold the curls pretty well, you know, so this works for me. I know um, this product doesn't work for everybody, but I quite like it. I think it was a good $200 spent, and I like that it also functions as a hair dryer, so now I only need one tool to do all of these different things, so that's the minimalist in me. But I think that's the end. So thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. I would love to hear from you. Also, for anyone who has thick hair like I do, I also have a video um, where I talk about how I thin out my hair. Um, I do it every like few months just because I have so much and when I wear it up, it gives me a headache. So I do have a video on how I do that as well. I also did a butterfly cut, the Brad Mondo butterfly cut. Um, I did it like three times in the past few months, so I have layers now and I really like it. So that's another thing that you all can try, especially if you have thick hair. I think that also helps to alleviate some of the weight. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.